is now the right time to buy or not? That is the eternal question that a lot of folks are having difficulty with. My name is Fadi Kuder. I'm a local realtor here with Button Ottawa. And for more tips like that, please don't forget to follow our channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you do like what you see. So let's dig in. A few common mistakes that people make when they're looking at understanding real estate, if it's the right time or not. Number one, they do not do a proper market analysis to see if this is the right property for themselves and for the long term that they're looking to do the market research, if you will. But that means that you're not sitting down with trusted advisor, someone that knows the market really well, tell you what type of asset you should be looking at. S something that's going to be family, for example, uh, multi-dwelling, or if it's going to be, you know, more of a, a condo, or you're looking at the uh, single family. With that, and, and that normally creates a lot of issues because at the end of the day, you have to understand if this is something that you're going to be living for in, you know, two years from now, three years from now, and looking at the future value and be able to kind of decide when the time comes, can I sell this asset? Is it gonna appreciate what's gonna happen with it? Stick number two is overestimating the potential returns that this asset is gonna bring. What I mean by that is a lot of the time, especially, you know, we find this quite often on the commercial side or on the investment side. Uh, a lot of folks don't necessarily understand the full value of this asset and they don't understand the full value of the returns that this asset brings. They get really excited and bring in a lot of emotions into the transaction when it shouldn't be the case, it should be more numbers oriented. To be able to avoid that, what you should be able to do is sit down and really look at the numbers and have a, a, take a hard look at the numbers and figure out exactly if it's gonna make sense for you or not. Uh, and do a proper projection uh, on the market. And you know, one big thing that we always tell our clients is take a look at the last you know, 10, 15, 20 years and see if this is gonna you know, continue uh, on that trend or not. And if it's not, figure out a way to, maybe, maybe this asset is not the right asset for you. Mistake number three is ignoring personal financial constraint. What I mean by that is a lot of the times folks go out and they, you know, they decide to buy a certain asset. Like for example, we really like this house. The two of us are gonna go ahead and put a down payment. And they forget that they have other obligations such as, you know, a car payment coming in, you know, potentially having a kid in the next year or two, going to school in the next couple of years. Things like that that could actually affect your financials in the long run could potentially affect the fact that you could, you know, you might not be able to own that house for a while. So what we normally suggest is that, you know, sit down with your financial advisor, with your mortgage broker and have a plan, have a five-year plan and make sure that, you know, the asset that you're getting yourself into or the home that you're getting yourself into is going to suffice for your living situation for the next five years, whether anything changes. And also very, very important to have a bit of a buffer as well. For more tips like this, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and follow us on the channel Canada on the Rocks. My name is Fadi Kuder and I'm your local realtor here with Sutton Auto.